Well, it is Thursday, and classes began today. I just got back from like three hours of Spanish, and I didn't die <sighs> yet. I understood a lot of what she was saying. She spoke mostly in Spanish for like 10 whole minutes, and then she was like, so how, how much of that did you understand? And I was like, eh, pretty good. And it went well though, and my teachers, my, my professor, I still do that all the time, it doesn't matter, but my professor's really nice, like sweetest lady ever, and her pronunciation is really easy to understand. She doesn't have a very strong accent or anything. And it's gonna be okay, but now I'm going to eat lunch, and then we're gonna go see Olympia Snow speak, and then I'm gonna go back for a little bit more class. We. It's the first day. We'll get through this together. I love you. Sorry, that was too soon. Pretty practical. Uh, well, it may not matter which way uh, we go to Portland, but it does matter which road we take uh, for this country. And that road will dictate America's destiny. And that road has to be one of compromise and conciliation as well as bipartisanship. And as Doug mentioned, you know, I made a decision and I shocked the political establishment uh, by announcing that I would not seek re-election for a fourth term to the United States Senate. And then ordinarily, it doesn't happen every day, um, one doesn't relinquish one of 100 seats in the United States Senate. But I had come to the regrettable conclusion uh, that the excessive polarization would not diminish on the short term. So I decided to take my fight outside of the institution and to fight for bipartisanship in a different direction. It wasn't that I no longer believed in the potential of the Senate or that I no longer loved the institution, but precisely because I do.